guys hear that? Mm. Our cousin Dax, who's a teenager, has a really deep voice. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today we're playing Our Sims in Bloom Let's Play once again and we're back here in Mount Komorebi still on our holiday. We still have I think one and a bit days left of our holiday so I'm pretty excited to jump straight back in and get these guys doing all sorts of fun things today so we don't waste any more time. I'm going to get these guys to travel because it's almost dinner time and we're going to go check out the other bar um, a little bit further away from our rental. So I think we're going to head to this karaoke lounge here to grab some food. And here we are. I'm really excited for these guys to come in and check out this little bar. I think it's similar or the same as what it is in the regular Sim Save file. So I don't think Sim Lissy did up this one at all, but it might be slightly different. I'm sort of having trouble being able to tell. Maybe it is slightly different because these couches are slanted and I don't think the Sims team would have done that. <laughs> um, so there's no one here at the moment so I think what we're gonna do is come in and just have like a sit down and chat with everybody and hopefully shortly the bartender will show up and also some people will show up. I think I'm also going to get Daffodil to invite over um, Katori and Marco as well for dinner because I want to get them to meet Katori and they did meet Marco earlier this morning so since they are also teenagers I think it would be cute oh my god Daisy just farted and then Hallie just burped oh. <laughs> that's so funny anyway I just think it would be cute oh for them to get to know each other oh. well we're gonna invite you over Hey, Hallie, it's Cassandra. Do you want to hang out tonight? <laughs> Not tonight. We're on holiday. When we get back, we'll hang out with all of our friends. Okay, Katori will be right over, and Poppy has spread some juicy gossip about Juniper, and Marco, Marco will be over too. The game's a little bit, running a little bit slow today. I think there was an update that just came out, but that's okay. Um, once I get here, we'll get these guys to come and say hi and introduce themselves to Katori. But for the meantime, they're just gonna hang out in here, in the lounge. Okay, so Katori has actually showed up outside here. I'm gonna get Daffodil to come out and say hi. I'm gonna add the preteen trait to her as well. <laughs> so they're all the same age. A still respectful introduction and Clover, why don't you come over and say hi as well? Clover's saying hi to Katori. I'm curious about what sentiment these guys get. Well Clover's sort of in a bad mood. She thinks she's funny and I'm curious to see what she thinks about us. An interesting sim. Oh, maybe these guys will get along well. Let's ask her about a day. Let's just have a chat with her. This toddler's so cute. Look at its eyes, it's so huge. They're the biggest eyes I've ever seen on a toddler. <laughs> oh, Poppy's here. You still pregnant, Poppy? I am going to say so, or her dress is glitching out. I'm not sure. Oh my god, da Daisy is hysterical. She needs to calm down. Clever, why don't you come over and chat with Katori a little bit and just get to know her. Okay, Daffodil has learnt the following prefaces about Mako. He likes the colour green, orange, and white. That's interesting. Are these guys over here? Is he even in this room? Oh, there he is. He's just standing in the... Okay. <laughs> just morphing through. Oh, that was cool. They did the little, like, snow bro. These two seem to get along pretty well. I can just see, like, Clover in the background, like, hitting her head. Did you say something stupid? What's wrong with you? Oh, she's hungry. Clover's having a nice stroll. She's probably thinking, like, oh, I love it here. The air is so, like, clean and fresh. Like, I love the environment. This part of town is absolutely gorgeous. I'm feeling like maybe when she grows up into an adult, I'll get her to move and live here for at least the young adult part of her life. She probably is, like, looking at, um, like, talking about animals to everyone. And they're all like, yeah, like, we have animals here, but there's, like, no vets, so we always have to travel. And she's like, oh, interesting. I could open a vet here, <laughs> but right now she's just really hungry and tired. Okay, so Clover's got a simi capsule, another one. Let's see if she got anything new this time. Oh, um, well, you can eat this protein bar, I suppose. 
<gasps> oh, she got male whiskers, but in gold. <laughs> Daisy's feeling very confident. I'm a little bit worried about her, but hopefully she'll be okay. And Daffodil's in here having a bit of a chat to herself in the mirror. Maybe she's practicing some flirting. Let's practice some flirting in the mirror. Did she come and introduce herself to Katori earlier? No, we didn't. We'll come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> These two are so cute. Uh, Daisy and Clover over here having something to eat and something to drink together and they're like having a little bit of a chat on the park bench. That's so cute. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, they're so tired. Alright, I'm gonna send these guys home. How's Hallie feeling? Also really tired. I'll send her home too. Daffodil. She's super, super hungry. Actually, Hallie has some veggies in her inventory, so I might... Just put these strawberries in daffodils and she can eat strawberry. <laughs> but apart from that, she's feeling pretty good. Ooh! She's come outside to stargaze with Mako, which is super sweet. Look at these guys. She's peaceful. Oh, from being an introvert. Daffodil's not an introvert. She was an extrovert when we looked last time. Maybe she's changed a little bit in her youth and she's a bit of like an ambivert now. Maybe she's like a little bit more similar to Clover. But she was definitely an, an extrovert as a child, so that's quite interesting. Let's talk about our recent birthday with him. We can tell him that we're on this trip to celebrate our birthday and we just aged up. And we will talk about... Let's exchange names because they don't know each other very well. It's been fun meeting new friends on this holiday and I feel like these guys have a similar vibe like they're a bit like a hey, bro type vibe <laughs> like if they're like snow bros and stuff that's super cute all right so it's now two o'clock in the morning and Marco's decided to head off so I'm gonna get Daffodil to eat a strawberry before she starves to death good job lady and then I'll get her to head home as well back to the villa for some sleep and hopefully we can get enough sleep um and then be refreshed in the morning Okay, we're back now. I'm gonna get these guys to fulfill their needs. Please go to the toilet, lovely. Oh my gosh, Daffodil's now slipping over. <laughs> Everyone's feeling pretty good. Hallie is feeling wild from drinking, but in a positive way. Oh, no, she's definitely drunk. <laughs> oh, she's very drunk. Why don't you guys come and do some um, woohoos before you head to bed since this is your um, wedding honeymoon your honeymoon trip as well we've got these two in here one's having a bath and one's on the toilet luckily there's a wall here so they can't see each other and also sumi probably should check on sumi we'll just fill up his needs oh my goodness daffodil is having some of these tacos that hallie made this morning i'll probably just put them in the fridge for now so we can eat them tomorrow and after she's done that i'll get her to come head to sleep and we've got two sleeping little girls here. All right, I'll come back in the morning once everyone is up bright and early and feeling better. All right, it's eight o'clock now. I'm gonna get everybody up because we've only got a few hours left on our vacation, unfortunately. I'm thinking I might extend it for one day, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna get everybody to travel again this morning, just these guys. And we're gonna head... Oh my God, the bills. <laughs> And we're gonna head to this park here because I think we can do some walking trails. Okay, we're at the park now. Everyone's looking super cute in their little outfits this morning. I'm gonna get these guys to come and do one of the walking trails up here together really quickly. So I want to hike a scenic route and we'll do it with everybody. Let's go. Whoa. I'm worried that our vacation is gonna cut off early and it's gonna send us home. So we might extend it for one more day, but I'm just not sure yet because our household funds are pretty low. Look how cute all these guys are. Having a little bit of a walk. Are they enjoying their trail? It's quite pretty out here with all this like bamboo shoots. Are we going to eventually end up... Ooh, over here. Look at all these graves. Can we interact with any of them? Oh, we can with this one. Oh, let's purchase a gift. I guess we could put a road there. A rose? <laughs> a road? No, a rose. I guess we could put a rose there. Whoa. Will they keep walking down here? <gasps> Ooh. Look at this temple. Here we are. These guys are still walking, but we've lost Hallie because she is over here putting the rose down. I think she's going to join back up now, though. Ooh, a bush. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> Typical Daisy. All right, why don't you guys come over here and view this and we can um, 
Oh, oh no! Okay, we'll extend it by one day and then we'll head home tomorrow. Let's write a wish. And we'll get Daisy to write one. Okay, they're all writing their wish now. And they're back on their trail. <laughs> I don't wonder how long they're going to walk for. Was there anything else that we needed to see? I was hoping we could come up and be this temple. Is there anything this way? Ooh, oh, this is the little thing that we... Let's go shout and listen to Echo together. So they're just going to keep walking on their trail. They're getting a little bit stinky now, especially Daffodil, but probably didn't help that you wore like long sleeves out in the summer. <laughs> All right, their walk is over. Yeah. They're going to head off and do a few things now around here before we head back to um, get something to eat, maybe at the park. Hallie is still over here viewing this. I don't know what she's waiting for. Maybe you can take a picture with it, Hallie. Whoops, good job. And did you write your wish? Go on. I wonder what she wished for. Let's have a look. Wishing big from making a wish at the Ema board. If you believe it hard enough, any wish could come true. Oh, that's so cute. Where's everyone else off to? I think they're all heading back to the start of the trail now. And Clover's just like stood here. I'm going to cancel all these out so she can head back to the park. Here we are. Oh, look, our friends have actually showed up. That's cute. Why don't you come have a chat with Katori? And there's like some random naked dude here. <laughs> Clover's over at the vending machine getting herself something to eat because she's pretty hungry. Let's have this bolt energy bar. And she's feeling pretty good today. She liked the walk. They had the little hike and she's growing up well. Num, num, num. <laughs> Very cute. Daisy is over here. She's going to go make herself a wish. There she goes. And I think Hallie... <gasps> Oh, what are you doing? She's cloud gazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Why don't we shout and listen to Echo, Hallie? Innocent, Do you hear anything back? Oh, good job. Okay, she's, I don't know where she's heading to, but she's heading somewhere. And so is Daffodil. Oh, she's in the park now. Oh, Poppy, I don't know whether she's still pregnant or not. Her dress is just glitching out. I have to just change her outfit oh maybe your hot weather yeah she's definitely still pregnant oh she must be ready to pop soon look at her the skirt <laughs> let's discuss some of our interests together i kind of want these guys to exchange numbers for when they go back and they can maybe be like pen pals maybe when we go back home he's in a foul mood this morning though daisy's getting a call it's good to hear your voice, Daisy. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Tane a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Yeah, sure. Go for it. <laughs> Clover, you goose. We um, just bought you some food, but your sister's actually making some corn. Oh, look. She's giving him a gift. Ooh, is it a romantic one? Did you give him strawberries? Ooh, they liked that. You can give him another strawberry if you want. <gasps> Ooh, he's giving us a flower. Even though we're really stinky. <laughs> Marco gave Daffodil a gift along with a thoughtful message. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. Oh my god, cute. These guys are like getting along in a romantic sense. Maybe they like love interests. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's exchange. Oh, I want to get them to exchange numbers, but since we're a preteen, we can't really do anything. Daisy, I don't know what you're making, but I know it's going to make you super gassy. This guy here with the really deep voice. Oh, it's Dax! <gasps> Speak again. Dax has a really deep voice. <laughs> do you guys hear that? Our cousin Dax, who's a teenager, has a really deep voice. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Where have you been? I've been waiting from, for a text from you. Are you busy? Yeah, I am. I'm on holiday, lovely. 
Ooh, this is, oh, oh, this is Hallie's mom. Let's introduce ourselves to her. She's an elder now. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen to Hallie when she passes. Oh, that's cute. I feel like it's a good idea if we get closer with these guys since her daughter is literally always at our house. Someone's, oh, this is what Hallie's, uh, da <laughs> this is what Daisy's made. Gumbo. I reckon Daffodil's come over here and she's like, oh my god, do you remember that guy? No, don't leave yet. She's like, oh my god, do you remember that guy that we met yesterday, Marco? And then Clover's gonna be like, yeah, absolutely. Like, he was kind of a, a, a butt. And then Clo uh, Daffodil's gonna be like, well, he just gave me a rose and said that we, like, belong together. And Clover's gonna be like, what the heck? I've gotta go check out what this guy wants because you just met him yesterday. But keep in mind, these guys are like, probably like 13, 14, so it's, when you're that age and a guy will like ask you out, you've te tech, like normally you only know him for a few days and it's not anything serious at all. So we're not gonna take this too, we're gonna take this quite lighthearted, I think, and he's probably just flirting with her because she thinks she's pretty, but Clara is not convinced. She's like, leave my sister alone, you jerk. <laughs> he's in a very flirty mood, so I'm worried he's gonna flirt with Clover, but should be okay. We think he's immature and he thinks we're an interesting yo, sim. Yo. The Body smell is grabby. killing me. Ooh, oh, Clover yeah. has learned the following traits about Marco. He hates children. Interesting. Well, I think if anyone's going to have a kid, it's going to be Daffodil. So maybe you don't get with that guy who hates children. But I think as a, a teenage romantic is interest, it's not a problem at all. All right, it's getting pretty late. So I'm going to send these guys back to their little house to have a sleep and our holiday is going to end in the morning so maybe in the morning we can head back to the bar or something or like the lounge and we can get like another simi before we head off but i feel like we did a lot of things on our vacation so far so maybe we'll just spend the morning at home spending some time with the family daisy is going to get back to reality though tomorrow and get some of these skills up because unfortunately she only has five days left until she's an elder all right i'm gonna get these guys to fix up their needs and then head to bed. I really hope everyone had a good day. Oh my god. <laughs> Clover's bored from talking to Mako, but that's okay because he's not really interested in Clover anyway. He does him and Daffodil get along pretty well, which is perfect. And he was flirty when he was talking to Clover and maybe he tried to like charm her as well and she's like, uh no. And maybe that's why she's a bit of an unflirty sim. Maybe she like her sexuality is like asexual or something. I guess we'll see. But yeah, she definitely like wasn't interested in Mako what <laughs> whatsoever. But that's fine because he actually has romance with Daffodil. So I think we may have clashed a little bit if we had any romance with him. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this one here. Everybody is just getting their needs up and then they're going to head to bed. And then in the morning, our vacation, unfortunately, is going to be over and we're going to head back. And like I said before, Daisy only has five more days until she ages up into an elder. So I really want to start getting a move on on some of these skills that we're lacking in a little bit because I really want her to finish this before she she ages off into an elder and then you know because we have a higher chance that she could die so so that will be our main focus in the next episode but I hope you guys liked today's episode I had a lot of fun in Mount Komorebi the last two episodes this is definitely like one of my favorite places to play the sims because there are so many things that you can do like the festivals and the walking um, like the What's it called? The hiking trails and the snowboarding and everything. Like it's just a lot of fun. And like I mentioned uh, in the early part of the episode, I'm tempted to move Clover here when she ages up. So we'll definitely have to visit again when we're like a little bit closer to um, young adulthood. But at the moment, they're preteens. They still have 13 days. So I think we're all set. Let me know what you guys think of Mako and Daffodil's like little love interest relationship. Should I get them to be like pen pals and like talk a little bit when we get back to Brindleton Bay or should I cool things off with him? Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe like a little bit of a teen fling would be cute but then like as an adult she decides she needs to be with someone a little bit more mature. She is going through a rebellious stage at the moment so even though he hates kids, like, she's, a, she's, like, 13, 14, like, she probably, um, would get with someone who's a bit of, like, a bad guy, a bad boy, and I think Mako has kind of got this, like, 
I'm going to string all the girls along behavior anyway. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I am going to leave this one here. If you liked today's episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments down below. I really appreciate everyone's support so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.